Okay, welcome to UK turn five. Uh, UK has 39 IPCs to spend. Uh, they're gonna be buying two fighters, a um, artillery and five infantry. Uh, we have three attacks to declare this turn, all three of which are in fairly close proximity in the Middle East. Um, first off, from Egypt, two of the infantry from, or two of the infantry and two of the artillery from Cairo are gonna take El Alamein. Uh, the uh, cruiser and the battleship are going to come through the um, Suez Canal and attack the Italian destroyer in Sea Zone 98. And four fighters and a tactical bomber from Cairo are going to come to Sea Zone 97. Uh, they are leaving from my uh, advanced air base, so they have six movements. So they can go one, two, three, and then they can come back and land in Cairo if they so choose. Uh, okay, um, I won't turn the camera off. We'll just keep going with the battles because there's three relatively straightforward battles to roll here. Um, I'll do the two naval battles first because those are pretty easy. Uh, the first one is just uh, the battleship and the cruiser against the Italian destroyer. So the battleship is out of four. The cruiser is out of three. The destroyer is out of two. I can roll these all together. And I hit with the battleship. And the destroyer missed. So glug, glug, glug. Italian Navy is uh, rapidly dying. Um, okay, the second one. Uh, by the way, uh, Commander Ironside has elected not to scramble into the sea zone with his Italian or German planes. So I'm just facing, I obviously can't hit the sub. I'm just facing off against the two um, uh, transports. So... That's four um, threes for the uh, fighters, a four for the um, tack, and he gets a one for the, um, uh, for the two transports together. I only need one hit here because after that it's an auto kill, and the white die should not hit. And the white die hit. Bugger. <laughs> okay, so I lose a plane. See? <laughs> See that there? Jeez, he's been enormously lucky on those ones. Uh, okay, so I do lose a fighter uh, in that attack, so I'll lose the, the one from uh, uh, the other side of the board. Uh, okay, uh, and then the last battle is uh, Al Alamein. I have two infantry and two artillery, so that's four twos, uh, going up against a lone Italian infantry. And I got, my, I got two hits, actually, I only need one. Uh, the Italians fight back. They got a hit. Okay, so the territory is taken, but uh, the British lose a man doing it. All right, um, give me a second to tidy up the board, and I'll come back with non-combat in just a sec. Okay, let's do non-combat for the British. Okay, first off, the uh, transport and destroyer that are in C-Zone uh, 91 are going to move and join the Americans in C-Zone 110. Also, the transport's going to pick up an infantry and a, um, uh, an anti-aircraft and join the Americans in Normandy, Bordeaux. Uh, also, the transport here is going to move to C-Zone 88, pick up two of the three British infantry in British Guiana, and then move back to uh, C-Zone 91 and land in Gibraltar. I have this card here for Gibraltar, so I'll put those guys there. Uh, so that one's done. Uh, there are four planes in Gibraltar right now. Okay, two of them on the card, two of them actually on here. The two that are here, two of them will stay. Uh, the other two will fly one, two, three, four, back to um, London to protect there. Uh, that's those arrows. Okay, let's go down to Africa now. Uh, some movement here. Uh, the two units that I got from Mozambique and moved to South Africa last turn, uh, I am going to rail those troops one, two, three into Anglo Egyptian Sudan. Um, I'm going to send the one infantry in Belgian Congo up into French Equatorial Africa. Uh, I'm going to send the mechanized infantry from French Equatorial Africa one, two onto the Cairo card. Um, one of the two tanks in Cairo, let's see if we can make sure that we're seeing this now. 
I'll scoot this around here. One of the two tanks in Cairo is going to go one, two into Iraq, uh, along with the infantry from Syria will go into Iraq. Um, so that's done. Okay, uh, the um, transport that was in C Zone 81 is going to go into 98 1, 96 2, pick up the two guys from Malta and go back here and land in Cairo. So I'll just put those guys here for now. Tidy that up, tidy that up in a minute. Uh, I think that's done. So that's the French, that's the Commonwealth. Okay, um, moving over here into the Middle East, um, all of the troops in Eastern Iran are going to move into Iran and join the two guys that are there. Uh, and the Russian individual Russian unit will be sort of the last line of defense there. Um, I think that's all the non-combat movement. Uh, so let me do um, the placement of new units. Uh, going into Cairo, so I'll just put it on the card, is my new artillery. Whoops, so that's going to go there. Whoops. Okay. Uh, going into London, way up here at the top of the map, are two new fighters, just under there, so there's going to be four there now, and two new infantry. And the last three units are going to go in my newly liberated Asian territory. Kuang Tung. Um, Chaplin made him a bit of a mistake. He bought a factory uh, and he put it in uh, Hunan, which he's not allowed to do because factories have to be built in um, areas of at least two uh, IPC value. So he had to put it in Kuang Tung. The Americans took it last turn. So I'm just going to build a couple of guys in there <laughs> and we'll see how, uh, how that goes. I don't think they'll survive very long, but we'll make it more difficult for them. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. So once I tidy this stuff up, well, give me a second and I'll do a disposition of forces and, and, and income and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, I forgot to land the planes uh, from C Zone 97. They're going to go back into Egypt. Okay. Sorry, I thought that probably was obvious, but uh, I forgot to do it. So I'll be back in a second disposition. Okay, sorry, just real quick money. Um, Nothing's changed, they're at 35 IPCs. So that is going to be their base amount, 35. Uh, they do get two bonuses. Um, because they liberated El Alamein and control Egypt and Transjordan, they get a plus five. And because they control Iraq, they get two more. So they have 35, 42 to spend for next turn. And there are no um, uh, uh, convoys on the board. Okay, let's do disposition of forces. Okay, uh, so in British Guiana, there is one infantry. In C-Zone 91, there are, is one transport along with a bunch of uh, other uh, stuff from other armies, or navies, I guess. Uh, in Gibraltar, in terms of British units, there are two infantry and two fighters, uh, but there's a bunch of other stuff there. There's some Commonwealth and American forces as well. Um, up in Normandy, Bordeaux, there is an infantry and an anti-aircraft artillery. In C-Zone 110, there is a transport and a destroyer. In London proper, there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 11 infantry, 4 fighters, uh, and 4 anti-aircraft artillery, along with 2 Canadians, 2 French, and a French uh, two Canadian, two French uh, infantry, and a French um, fighter. Um, okay, moving east. In Africa, uh, in French Equatorial Africa, there's an infantry. In Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, along with the Commonwealth forces, there are two infantry. Um, in El Alamein, there's an infantry and two artillery. Uh, in Egypt, I'll put all of these on the card here, so there's a tactical bomber. There are three fighters, because one of them got killed. Uh, and there are three infantry, 
uh, two anti-aircraft artillery, one tank, one mech, one um, anti, uh, sorry, one uh, artillery, uh, and then there's a French guy, uh, two South Africans, and two South African um, artillery. Uh, in the Mideast, uh, there's an infantry and a tank in Iraq. There are five infantry and two anti-aircraft artillery in Iran. Uh, and I think that's it for over here. And then way, 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 way over in Kwantung, along with two American infantry, there are now three um, uh, British infantry as well to um, give Chaplin a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Um, if I haven't missed anything, I'll just double check the board real quick. Uh, yeah, so Italy uh, 5 is going to be up next. Uh, we'll see what Ironside does with uh, uh, significantly less uh, Italian Navy in the water. Although I suspect he's probably going to make a play for Gibraltar anyway. Okay, um, best of luck and uh, moving on.